Tears can bring back the dead. My son would have been resurrected from the dead. I cried and cried and cried out my eyes out that all the tears in my eyes got dried up. Not even one drop was coming forth. He was my only son, my only child, yet that took him away from me for no just cause. Isunda was my all in one. Everybody knows how much I cherished him. Could it be his death was for a reason? Huh? I tried questioning God. No, it shouldn't be my son. It shouldn't be my only son. It shouldn't be such a boy. I have no question in God. Why should he be in He was my life. My everything. He was my joy. My little sweet boy. Oh, 
Just believe in a better tomorrow. God will bless us one day. Everything will be alright. And if tomorrow comes, we'll be making it Yanka. Is it when them people don't cry? Just believe in a better tomorrow. God will bless us one day. Everything will be alright. And if tomorrow comes, we'll be making it better. Before. What is this one now? I see it. I'm going to go. Wait a minute. No, we are coming in. It is what you saw that you read. And then, Mama, wait. You the bull for. Wait. Where is it? Okay. 
My love, <laughs> the God who said you never, never failed us. I have a father that will never, never fail us. Jesus is the father that will never, never fail us. So, Rock of ages, never, never fail. <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down. Tell me what this excitement is all about. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can remember the philanthropist from my village, Ichie Wanze Ezuguna Odembe. I don't know if you can remember a man I told you about some time ago that I helped recover lost files with my laptop. Yes, I think I do. Very good, baby. Now, he is giving scholarship to 30 people who wants to study abroad. Guess what? But he personally selected me. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. You'll be traveling abroad. No, 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 hell no. You will be traveling abroad. Me? Oh yes. <laughs> How? Okay, you see, Ichi is a good man. He's a good man. Now he said, You are also entitled to put someone in place in case if you don't want to go. Like if you're not interested to travel, you can bring someone in. So, I am bringing you in. It means you are taking my slot to travel abroad while I stay back here and back you up with prayers. How? How possible? Hey, see ya, baby. Everything is possible. Everything is possible, baby. You've always wished to be a medical doctor. You've always wished to save lives, right? You've always wished to watch people grow. Very good. Now, your dreams is about to turn reality. You are going to travel. You are going to fulfill that dream of being a medical doctor. Yes, baby. It's about time. So the dream starts now. I'll travel. Oh yes, my future doctor. You will travel. To study. Medicine. Me, baby. <laughs> Is this a dream? No, reality. <laughs> I'm going to travel abroad oh, yeah. to study. Future doctor. <laughs> Stop me, eh? Oh no, you're going again, you're going to squeeze your life out. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
but no, come on. You don't know how happy I am that I heard your voice now. No, it doesn't matter if you call it or not. So how was it? How is the environment? <laughs> I see. But you have your jacket, right? <laughs> okay, nice. Oh yeah, Beachy. Oh, good evening, man. What is happening? Hmm? I question him if he is Beachy. I'm going to go there if he is Beachy. You will link long like you to Zella, huh? Oh no, Beachy. Why if he is Beachy? It's not possible. You tell me what will happen to you tomorrow. Get it, Mechi. Are you here to mock my mother? No, I'm not here to mock your mother. I'm here. For her to tell me if you give me uh, but meanwhile, how about your sister? She's inside. Yeah. But if you're not here to mock my mother, why then are you saying all these things? Because your mother might give me Huh? Now can you ask me? Mama, what are you wanting? Can you give me Huh? If you give me a you need a is that good, man? It's a good one. Oh, look at the woman. It's a good one. How can you go? Come on, come on. 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 Come on, Yesterday has passed away tomorrow. You
Charles, you're gonna come? Yeah, that should let you know when I'm leaving the airport. So oh, go yes. to Nigeria airport and pick me, right? Yes! Well, sweetheart, I thought it wise not to stress you since I have the house address. I wanted to take it on away, like a surprise. Oh, I'm sorry I'm about that. that. Than someone else but you. I made a decision that it will not fail this night. If you didn't propose to me, I was ready to do the proposal myself.
The three days darkness is still on. Eh? Mama, three days darkness. What? Okay, okay, see, okay, see, it is like for three days now. It's, I can't see, like, I'm in the dark. Oh, 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 this I can now grab a smoke hoodie. Eh? Oh, Mama, eh? do not tell me that after 10 years you're still talking about three days darkness. It's three days now, I've been counting it. Mama, Nem. Don't tell me you're about to start again. Start what? Mama, why is it so difficult for you to accept that you've gone blind? I mean... Here, Paula. I'm up on your mom. Kelly, Kelly! I'm off here. Your mother is blind. Teach you. Where are you? Oh. He is from Nazo. Mama, what is it now? Because he has no me. Kelly, where are you? I charge! Because it's too dark. Mama, eh? Mama, you follow. Follow, 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 dear, then. Where is she? Can I know? Once a soldier, always a soldier. Mama, please. Charge! No, no, Mama, charge! Mama, eh? Come back. Where are you? Get here. Cut! Mama, so. Please, Nance. Okay. Mama, you follow. I don't think I can continue giving her injection just to calm her nerves and make her sleep before something worse would happen to her. And the police will come and arrest me. We are managing my little chemist shop here in the village. How long? How long? 
It's obvious her eye problem has also affected her brain. Her brain? How, doctor? The handwriting is quite clear on the wall. How else can we explain the fact that she's scattering everywhere around her? Scream me. The worst part that she can't even sleep until they give her drugs. For how many years? My advice is that you gather enough money and take a mother to a good hospital in town where she will get a proper treatment before it gets too late. Doctor, the problem is where do I gather the money from? Where do I gather the money from? After the death of my sister, things became worse for us. My mother is virtually quarreling with everyone in this village that nobody wants to come to our aid. Who do I run to now? Where do I go to? The little I had on me, I have exhausted it. I'm confused. Do something very fast before it gets too late. And don't forget to bring my money, all the money you are owing me, including the one of today. Take care. Hey!
want to be like you when I grow up. When you grow up? Yes. What are you now? A baby. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, why do you say so? Who wouldn't want to be like you, daughter, okay? The most respected daughter in town. Every patient wants to see you. Even when you direct them to other daughter, they will say, no, it is daughter, okay, I want to see. Daughter, you have scattered investment all over the country that yield money all over the place. I mean, all over the country. Big money, which is even the most important. In fact, I don't even know the one to mention and leave the other. Doctor, <laughs> I won't mind if you let me into your secret. I appreciate it, please. Sit. <laughs> Thank you. You are the closest to me in this hospital. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you what I do. Thank you. Giving. Giving to the less privileged. The ones you are better than. It opens doors. And a form of breakthrough. I do that every now and then and I believe it's one of the secrets to my success. My life is a testimony. You all know my story. One of the reasons I vow to assist with the little I can, every eye patient that is not buoyant enough. And that I stand with. Wow. But daughter, my question is, what about people like us that do not have? Look around you. You must see people you are better than. Enough said, young lady. Time to get back to work. It's morning. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. I've seen the land. Let's go to my house now so that we'll sit down, sign the documents, and then I give you the cash of 50,000 naira. Nanyo Wakwe, what is 50,000 naira for? What is it? We are talking about one, you are talking about another. It's for cleaning sheets from the anus. When I give you the 50,000, why are you to clean sheets from the anus? See me see trouble. Was it not you that came to me and said you want to sell your father's uh, land? I should come and buy it so that you can use the money to take your mother to a good hospital in the city. How come you're asking me now what's this 50,000 naira for? You seriously want to buy my father's farmland for 50,000 naira? Now you are that's not fair now. Now you are is that supposed to be a part payment or something? No, it's for party payment. When I give you the money, go and use to throw party all over the village. Eh? In fact, who told you that women even sell land in Ebola? Eh? Is it because I'm trying to do you a favor? Will any man in this village bring that 50,000 naira from his pocket eh, when he knows who, who your mother is in this village? Look, when Oyemeshi was busy creating and making enemies all over in the village, did she know that she would come to a situation like this? When she would now be down. When she was busy harassing people with her fake army uniform or army status, did she know that she would come to this situation? Now you are asking. In fact, I'm no longer interested in this land. Is that clear? If your mother likes, let her die. Yesterday has passed away. Tomorrow, you really don't know. No one 
receiving treatment to reduce the pains and the possible damages that might have been caused in your brain due to your eye problem. Eh? Mm. Oh. 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 Mm. As you can see, I am very busy 
And I don't have time for much talk. If you need to see your mom, you follow me. Wait, she's joking, right? You are talking! Seems not having any significant effects. No improvements. Since the doctor prefers eye surgery as a possible solution, I suggest you should look for how to raise money for the surgery instead of wasting the little you have. It's obvious she's getting worse by the day. Okay, I don't think I can do anything. Excuse me.
this little token for him. You know, just like yesterday, it still plays out in my head. How he said he sneaked out his only piece of meat and his portion of food and added to mine on my birthday. He called it he called it a birthday gift. It's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate that he's not here to see what tomorrow finally become of me. The tomorrow he had always talked about. He put his life on the line just so I leave. He deserves to be celebrated, even at death. He deserves to be celebrated. Philip here will teach you how to drive. You can keep him as long as you want. Happy birthday, my kid brother. Happy birthday, Zeta. No, 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 no. Don't even go there. Don't tell me that you made this food because I wouldn't believe you. Oh, someone is looking for a way to be passionate now. I told you I was going to cook for you one day, right? Hmm? <laughs> and you will be the one to call the result. So tell me, who cooks better, me or you? Sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart, but we need someone else. 
to call the results. Oh, Ma, no excuses, girl. I cook more than you do. You know no, that. you don't. I cook more than you do. No, you don't, baby. I cook more than you do. Okay. What's left? Like a fried rice for you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, my baby. At least I forget, yeah? The guy designing the wedding invitation card stopped by earlier today. Okay. So he brought a um, few designs for samples. And I think it's really nice. So I dropped one of the cards in your bedroom, the table. Did you see it? Really? I didn't take note of that. Baby, sometimes I ask myself, who am I? You know, to merit all these blessings and favors from God we sent to the point that the whole world looks for me. The whole world wants my services. Dr. K. <laughs> Can see that again. I'm so excited. I mean, he's such an amazing God. Sure he's a is. wonderful God. Of course. Hmm. Babes. Yes, he is. God is actually wonderful. God actually sees our hearts before he blesses us. He knows what we can become tomorrow. Right? And the truth is that when I look back at everything we went through, the penury, the suffering, everything. It made me believe that, truthfully, God is indeed God. And He never fails. Not at all. He never fails to stand for His people. Exactly. What's that woman's name again? Um, Onye Meiji. Yeah. You know, that woman thinks that without her, that one cannot survive. She thinks that she can stop what God has based him. But hell no! No one can actually toy with God's plans. No one can predict tomorrow. You remember when he... refresh those old wounds but then she shouldn't matter now what matters now is God has blessed us God has announced you God has made us rich God has made you bigger than you think God has finally come through for us that is what matters now You don't deserve this, my queen. Queens don't dwell in the past. Take a look at my turkey. Did you see the way I fried it? Look at my salad. Look at this rice. It's dope. Top notch. Wait till I fry my chicken. My meat. Fried rice. Oh. Wait for it, Dad. So you're gonna woe me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Please, tell me what is going on. Four different hospitals. Four different hospitals we've been to right now yet no improvements nothing is as if we're just pouring water on stones mama 
It looks like this your sickness wants me to go and steal or oh, maybe sell off my body to raise money. A little I managed to raise. I'm giving them already at the hospital for your surgery. Yet no improvement. My no improvement though. Mama, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do again? Who did we offend? What is going on? Tell me what has been going on while I was on leave. Nothing much, Doctor. There's one particular patient who wants to scream down this whole building. She has an eye problem and it seems it's affecting her brain. She keeps screaming in pains, scattering everywhere whenever she's awake. According to her daughter, they have been to different hospitals. There's no improvement. So who is attending to this woman? Dr. Paul has been the one taking care of her. He even suggested eye surgery. But that will obviously look like building a castle in the air. The daughter even said they don't have money for feeding anymore. Not to talk of money for treatment. And they are even owing for two days. She will be discharged from the world today because they are going for two days. And why didn't anyone tell me about this? You are not around. We don't want to disturb you. Your decisions do not hold water in such cases. I wasn't daft when I made it clear that such cases should be reported to me so I can see how I can help financially. Sorry, ma'am. Do not make such a mistake again. Okay, ma'am. Take me to the woman. She's asleep due to the injection they give to her. As soon as she wakes up, her condition turns a nightmare. She'll scream down this whole beauty. Surgical 
No, see, I, I understand, but I just want to deposit something. At least let them start first. You know, see, I, I don't want it to get too late. Eh? I want to run for more money. Please, please now. That's my mother's voice. She's awake. Nothing is going on. Maybe she learns only to employ professionalism. I mean, when she sympathizes with every patient that comes in here, if she continues that way, then what remains in her pocket? And what are you saying, Nessie? What I'm saying in a sense is that this girl should go out there and look for money if she still wants her mother's treatment to commence. I mean, this is not a charity home. Or better still, help her with your salary. <laughs> And what kind of a joke is that? Please stop it. I know how you feel. I completely know how you feel to behold the same person who consistently inflicted pains on you in the past. Someone who never ever believed you've got dreams and visions but seizes every opportunity to bring you down. But maybe, just maybe, we shouldn't forget that the vow you made was between you and God and not between man. You made a vow to God Almighty to assist every of your eye patient that is not buoyant enough with the little you can. Now I ask, do you want to keep up with the good works or probably deviate with this one and call it karma? It's up to you. It's up to you. But let's not forget in a hurry. Your 
slogan. Your life today is a testimony, my love. Think about it. understand. You see, while I was praying, the Lord revealed to me that what your mother is passing through now is what she saw. Let me ask you, who is this person that she offended in the past? Find him or her. Let the person's conscience be appealed to. Only he or she has the key to your mother's freedom. Pastor, what you just said now is like trying to fetch all the water in an ocean because my mother virtually offended everyone in our village. Absolutely no one is left out. Your mother is blind, right? Who is this blind person that your mother offended in the past? Your mother was responsible for her blindness. Any idea? My stepsister, Kodiri. Uh -uh. <laughs> Your stepsister? She must be a child of grace then. You see, when you offend a child of grace, be assured that the grace in her will surely disgrace you someday. That we don't know. You see, I want you to look for her wherever she is and appeal to her conscience. Otherwise, treating your mother will be as good as watering a stone. She might continue to suffer once she gives her the ghost. Ye malo tata, ye 
Pastor said the only way your mother's treatment could be effective is if Chico Dele could be found and her conscience appealed to. Exactly, Mama. And you have come to ask if I know her whereabouts so I could give you the directions. Yes, exactly. Okay. I know where she is. Hey. 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 Thank you so much, Mama. Please, where and how can I locate her? I mean her address. I'm coming. Let me get it. my only son in all this and you came to collect address so your mother could be fine now where that
Sochi. I don't know if she would love to see any of you. But then, I am not in her mind to make that decision. Neither am I God to judge. I don't have the permission to give out her address either. Sixth Avenue, First Act Lagos. If you are lucky, you could bump into her someday. How happy I am to see what tomorrow has finally become of my big sist. Even though I'm, I'm sad that I'm not part of this tomorrow, but I'm contented. It wasn't by your power, nor by your mind, but by the special grace of God. Just the cowardly. Never you stop the good work of God which you started a long time ago because of anybody. It was destined to be played out this way so that God Almighty would take His glory. Her strength tied to your weakness. Your weakness tied to her strength. Only you can balance it. No spirit, no other human can do that. I plead with you, Sister Calderon. Never you stop the good work of God. A touch from you means a lot. Is there one name people don't cry? Just believe in a better tomorrow. God to bless us one day, everything will be okay. And if tomorrow comes, you will be making it younger. Tim will be okay, and if tomorrow comes, 
said your surgery was successful. Very soon you start seeing, as soon as I take off the bandage. Oh, I see. Chai! Oh, so you come to the nature Mama. Eh? Who am I that my Lord will remember me? Mama, a great sinner. Who am I? Who am I that God will remember me? Don't, don't, don't cry. Please, you don't need that now. Please. <laughs> Mama, there is another one. The doctor that operated on you asked us not to pay a dime. He has virtually paid everything for us. God, you remember me. We are a great sinner, God. Oh, my God is good. God is good. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. I can't wait to take off the uh, bandage so at least I can see the face of the doctor that helped me. What is is the doctor here? Eh? Is the doctor here? I've not seen the doctor uh, yet. When you see doctor, thank the doctor for me. <laughs> I can't wait to remove the bandage oh, so that I can see doctor. <laughs> Thank you for me. Same here, Mama. It will soon be removed, Mama. Hi, hey, Mama. First of all, so don't get a bit. Mama. Thank you, Father. You must thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. I thought that operated on my eye. Can I see her now? She has gone home to rest. But she'll be here tomorrow. <gasps> Not this is what you told me yesterday. Eh? Why won't you let me see the doctor? Someone that was kind enough to heal me of blindness. Why are you doing this to me? Eh? You don't give me excuses. What is going on here? I am here to see the doctor that operated on my eyes. On your weapon on blindness and undo. Yes. Eh, besides, she, she paid the hospital bill. She should have been the first one I saw when I opened my eyes. Man, no, no, yeah. To show our appreciation. Yes, we need to go and see her. Madam, that will not be necessary. You won't see her. Mama, 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 why? I'm sorry now. Stop shouting. Why, why, can't, why can't we see her? 
she doesn't wish to be seen. Let's say she chose to remain anonymous. And not give me. Excuse me, madam. But nurse, you can do something for us. Oporomaka had him happy. You can do something for us, Miko. And must see her. Oh, I'm not gonna go to talk to you because you people have been fencing me. I don't care if my head is pounding, if my eyes are hurting. I'm not going to my mom when I call no call you. She's here. Oh, who is here? Yes. What is it again? Oh, say what is it? The same thing we've been talking about since. The same thing. She still insists on seeing Doctor K. Eh? Uh -huh. Oh, but if I, I need to see the doctor that cured me, the doctor that paid my bills. Yes, yes, sir. How can I go without seeing the doctor? It's just to appreciate her. Oh, 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 do you know what she did for me? Oh. And you people will not let me say, I must see doctor. Madam, how many times have I told you that the doctor in question does not want to see you? She wishes to remain anonymous. I want to see her. If there's a way to remove her from anonymous, remove it. I want to see her. She does not need your appreciation. Uh, which of these sentences did you not comprehend, madam? Mm -hmm. You went home, came back here, and you asking for the same thing I already did. Yes, the same thing, and I'm still saying it. Or say which one do I not comprehend? Which one is it that you do not comprehend? <laughs> no, 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 she said she doesn't want to see you. Mom, only her, her and my daughter, we have not committed any crime. Our crime is that we want to see her. And that crime, we want to commit it. We must see her. We must see her. It's just to thank her, to show our appreciation. Nothing else. How can I go back to the village without seeing her? I understand. You should be thankful that you can see now. But I have to see her face. I must see it though. Hey, hey, hey. I so that you make me leave this. Open him, Mabu. You will know how stubborn I can be. Please, madam. This is a hospital. And serenity is of utmost importance. Ha! Please. Serenity. Onuma Abagonu. That serenity will go because you people must allow me to see her. Maybe when I start shouting, then you people will bring the doctor out. Nem Sodom Kuboku, Sodom Tibem. Mama, please. It's not your support for madam, please. It's not your people are hiding now. I think you should give them a chance to see you. I mean, what's the point of avoiding them? I barely understand how you feel. That you wouldn't want any opposition from anyone. I also understand perfectly well how you feel whenever you set your eyes on them. But then, if you could stand performing a successful eye surgery on her, what more wouldn't you stand my love? This will put a message across. They treated you bad in the past. But you choose to paint them into different coin. <laughs> How do you tend to prove that point if you keep avoiding them?
I'm so sorry. I was caught up in traffic. I'm sorry. Um, she's here. She said that she wants to see you. You know, she has been disturbing me. She said she wants to see the doctor that uh, successfully performed the surgery on her eyes. And I left them with the instructions you gave that you wouldn't want to see anyone until today that you asked for them to come over. Um, following their consistent disturbances. It's okay. It's, it, it, should I pass here? They don't sell that. It's alright. Don't say. I can't eat you no more. I'm going to eat you no more. I'm going to eat you no more. God will bless you. You're a good woman. My heart is filled with joy. Eh? To behold the girl that saved me from blindness. Mom, God will bless you. God will bless you. Hey! Eh? How do I begin to thank you? Do you know what it means to be blind? Eh? Now mad police, you know that fool so. Hey! You cured me. God used a beautiful soul like you to heal a woman like me. And not only did you cure me, mom. You paid our bill. You paid our bill. What do you go say? You see, you see a joker? I just stopped them. I really, really disturbed them. I disturbed them. I said I must come and see the woman that saved me. There's no way I can go back to the village without saying thank you. Even the gods of the village would send me back to the city yeah. to come and thank you. Mom, you go say, you don't know what it means to be blind. Now, what? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, for saving us. Saving me from blindness. You don't know what you did for me. I wanted to die. Mama, you stop saying you would die. That was then because stop you killed me. I wanted to die. Mama told me, You don't die. die. What death is that? Oh, better than blindness. Mama, if I did have this girl. Hey! My daughter, blindness is the last thing we we'll wish your enemy. Man, Benataka, oh, you need no poison. Blindness is the worst thing that can happen to anyone. Oh, come on, you know Nanina did any fools or two. Also, you know, we God has blessed this woman. God has come upon your name. God bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Hey, God, you're too much. You are too blind. Hey, what I went through. What I went through. Continue. Eh? Mama, continue. Mama, continue. Mama, continue. Mama. Continue inflicting pain on her. That is the only way you can renew your strength. And that is the only way probably you will live forever. Her weakness is your strength. And her strength, the same way, is your weakness. What about my daughter, Cherichi? I brought her along because she's the only one that has her mother's heart. <laughs> she must undergo same ritual. Lest I forget, it was a physical object you used to inflict blindness on her. But you must know that the object became dedicated to Idejani the moment the ritual was completed. And there are laws governing the process in the spiritual realm. As long as the girl remains within the confines of the sand, no human, no spirit can prove a solution to her blindness. If I were you, I would take no chances. I will make sure she never leaves this Oberago. 
for any reason. But eventually she becomes free of the infliction. The infliction might be reversed. And that could spell danger. Yes, she might just be the only solution to your case. He said it. He said it. He said it. He said it. We didn't listen. You didn't go with us. He told us. He warned us. But we did not listen. Forgive me, my daughter. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, Mom. Because, well, well, I'm not going to be Tomorrow indeed is unpredictable. Of a truth, no one knows tomorrow. It wasn't easy for me all along. Suffered terribly. Body and soul. Gave up at some point. Accepting my fate the way it was. But then. I do realize that when life gives you a thousand reasons to quit, God will always give you a thousand and one to keep going. Life is a testimony. <laughs> My sight is a testimony. The reason I made a vow to my God to assist every eye patient I come across with, every little way I can. A million sacrifices. <laughs> Maybe God knows the best. So many ways he chooses to teach us so we could learn. I want you to know, my family, that I love you. Because yesterday is gone. Here we are today. Let love lead hey. and together we shall make this world a better place yes. Oh, my God. Please, please. 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 Please,
Ibu, Ibu, Mama. No, 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 Thank <laughs> you.